they are spreading out the candles to make it look like there's more stuff on the shelf. Hi guys, it's Misty and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to attempt to film in Goodwill. We will see. I'm, we're going to two Goodwills today, so knowing me well enough, I will probably film in both Goodwills and then there probably will be a haul at the end of this video. We will see. Maybe I'll get lucky and have enough footage to have two videos. I don't know. But you know, I get I get frustrated and I, and I stop filming in Goodwill. But let's go in and let's see if we can find anything that we can write home about. I know, it's so cool. Mark is with us today. Here we go, Goodwill, be good to us today. I'm gonna show you how bare the shelves are in my Goodwill. I mean, they are spreading out the candles to make it look like there's more stuff on the shelf. They're just bare. I, I just, I don't understand what the problem is and what's going on, because I know people are donating things, but they're just, it's just bare. There's some little souvenir plates. There's Florida and California. They're 99 cents each. I'm gonna put them in my cart, but if that's the only thing I'm gonna get today, I'm probably gonna put them back. Hopefully we'll find some more stuff. I mean, there's, I see no, like these are all the figurines, that's it. I just, I don't, I don't know what's going on. She's 99 cents, she's cute. She's not vintage, but she's cute. Well, hello, stone person. She's a little January girl. Mm. The Ozarks. Um, I mean, I just, it's just sad. There's an elephant made in China. Very sad. Oh, here's a little cheetah leopard tiger. He's like all his paint is chipping off. I don't know. There's a little Valentine bear. There's just not. There's nothing. Hmm. <laughs> Elephant. Well, made in China elephant. So. Well, hello. And this is the haul portion because you know when I shop at Goodwill, I don't really last very long when I'm filming. So now we're on to the haul. Um, now that one Goodwill trip is where I picked up some of these things, but this is kind of a, a combination of three different Goodwill trips for me because I honestly have gone into Goodwill twice since I filmed the shop with me that you had seen and I bought nothing, nothing. So what I'm about to show you are three different trips to Goodwill. All right, um, I'll start with some of the, the, well, I don't wanna say it's not too exciting because I'm gonna be able to make money off of them on eBay, but they're not like vintage exciting. But one thing that I do like to buy and get when I'm at Goodwill is I always go and look at the toys and games section. I always look for things that are sealed. Um, they're very easy to, to, to sell. I mean, if something, if a game is, is sealed or a puzzle is sealed, you got to take basically a couple pictures of it and that's it. And I don't like taking pictures. So I like that for that aspect, but I do sell games that are pre-used and I kind of look for different and obscure games, not like Monopoly or uh, those kinds of things. Although there are some Monopolies, I mean, if it's sealed, I probably would look at it a little bit further, but this was one of those things. Now I did, I did pay $3.99 for this game, but I don't even know how to pronounce it. Otama. Otama. Let's just say it's that Otama. And it is an Arcade Wonders. So these kind of like obscure, like I 
like to play nerdy board games. Like, I like to play Clank, and I like to pay, play Settlers of Catan, and I like to play, play Dominion. I like to play all those games. And so this is kind of on that level a little bit, if you could say. Um, this is, it's an elegant and simple game which captures the essence of martial arts. The thing that's nice about this game, it, it has been opened. It's, it's not sealed. But there's not very many parts. So there are cards and there's a playing mat and then there's these little people. And I can easily see what is included. And I don't have to do a lot of counting because you want to kind of make sure that they're complete. The games are complete. This sells pre, well, I think it sells sealed for about $35, pre-owned about $18 or so, but still very easy to list, very easy to ship. So I got that one. And then this one, this one is called Rumus. And honestly, I might, we might try to play this game first before we sell it, but I paid and I saved a little because I, with, with this stuff, when you have a tag that's on the cardboard, I try to take it off as soon as possible. But this was $1.99. And it is Rumus. And it's kind of like one of these educational games. So there are certain games that are kind of geared towards a classroom setting, the educational insights. Um, and ha they like this one is rated by Mensa. Mensa. Major fun thinking. So it's kind of like a, a thinking game. But this has, um, it also had inside, it tells you how, it told you how many pieces that you needed. It's basically a building game. It's um, 44 stones and there are 11 of each color. And I counted them in the store and they're all there. And then three playing boards that are double-sided. Those are all air, all there. The instructions, and it has this little, this little gameplay board that's sort of like a lazy Susan in a way. But it's it's complete. And if the, sealed, this sells for about thirty-five dollars or so. I'll put the comps, you know, float around here somewhere. And even unsealed, it still sells for about twenty-four dollars. So. Um, it's in excellent condition. The box does show a little bit of wear, but still an easy thing to list and an easy thing to ship. I love selling games. I like games in general, but I like to sell them. Um, and then I picked up these. Now, these are vintage, and I, I couldn't really find comps on these. These are 1990 Looney Tunes. Isn't this 90s? Oh my gosh, look at the little like squigglies and stuff. This is 90s. This just screams the 90s. And it's Looney Tunes Bingo. It's made by Cardinal Games. Now, I don't know if all these little tokens are in there, but we're going to say that they, they probably are. But all it has six playing cards. I mean, I can do a little bit of searching to see if, if it's complete, but I don't know. It was, a, it was also, oh, it was 99 cents. So I thought it was worth the risk. And then I also bought Looney Tunes Dominoes, also made by Cardinal. It was also 99 cents. And I believe it is complete. It does have the instructions and the little dominoes. I might maybe would sell these together in a lot. I might do it that way. But 99 cents each, I, I'll take the gamble on that. And then I got these. Now, I'm not quite sure about these. They don't have... A barcode on them oh yeah they do okay they do have barcodes on them I'll try to scan them and see if I can um, pull up comps for these but they're they're dated this one's 1977 and this one's dated 1983 they're Looney Tunes and they're sealed they're puzzles they've never been opened I mean if anything I will give them to my my niece to 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 put together if they're not worth anything, but they were 99 cents a piece. I did get the stickers off the front and put them on the back so I could show you the price, but they're sealed. This one's a 99 piece and this one's a hundred piece. And if I was sell if I'm selling those on eBay, I probably will sell them together as a lot. All right, and those are the games that I got. I don't know, I love games. Don't, I mean, 
when you're at Goodwill, go look in the games. I also picked up these. Now, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'll, I'll maybe put some throw some comps on the, the screen here. But I paid $2.99 for this grab bag of not, like, I have vintage ones that I, like, that I played with in the 70s and 80s that I'm, like, strangely hoarding and I'm not selling for whatever reason. But these are, like, from the 90s and 2000s. There's some kind of weird, there was some kind of weird vibration that told me that I should buy these. And I don't know if it's just because they're so stinking cute. Oh my gosh, look at this. And I think that these are from the Noah's Ark. Like, look at the little cheetahs. It's a boy cheetah and a girl cheetah because they're going on Noah's Ark. And then here is Mrs. Noah. I don't know if Noah's in here or not. And then we've got the Mr. and Mrs. Giraffe. I mean, I don't know why. I'll have to look and see if these are worth anything. Here's a random giraffe. Now, he's not little people. He's just, he's just a random giraffe. There were a couple, there's another random giraffe. Well, no, that's a, that's a mama and a baby. Here's a random cheetah. They're not little people. And a random zebra. That's not little people. Oh, we got two sets of cheetahs. I think that you can sell these on eBay. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you can. Oh, here's a penguin. You're not a little people. Neither are you. You are different. Okay, so you don't you don't belong. You're cute, but you don't you don't belong. Um. Oh, here's another random hippopotamus. These kind of look like Playmobil. I mean, they're nice. Here's a, a sheep. This is an imposter. You're not little people. All right, so we have a lion, a girl lion, but not a not her boyfriend's not here. And we have a girl and boy toucan and a cow, just one cow, and one hippo, one elephant, one monkey. Oh, this one's so cute. Kangaroo. One kangaroo and a worm. But I got all of these for $2.99. So surely I'll be able to at least sell them and make my money back. I'll have to look and see what comps are. Um, but they're just so cute. I don't know. I don't know why I bought them, but I did. I mean, we've all been there, right? I think we've all been there. All right. And then I got this. And as I was setting up stuff, there are a couple things that I was like, hmm, well, I probably should have done this video before Valentine's Day because I got this and I paid $2.99 for it, but it's cute. It's not like your traditional red and pink for Valentine's Day. It's love, L-O-V-E. And it's got an angel and it's hand painted by, I don't know, I can't read her name, but it was painted in 1985. Kind of looks like a little sugar britch's angel. It's a little sugar britch angel. She's just flying around. Just flying around. Just hovering over everybody. Sugar britches. Um, but I don't know. I just liked it. I liked it. Probably could have sold it a little bit better around Valentine's Day. As well as I got these two little things. Now these are modern. I think that, yeah, these are from Target. They were 99 cents a piece. But I was going to put candies for my children and give them to them for Valentine's Day. But I didn't. So I'll put those away for next year. They're like a stoneware. Just like a little, just a little trinket. And I think that was all like the Valentine's Day objects. But I got a, I got a damn it doll. A damn it doll. It was $2.99. It was in a grab bag. Let me read to you what this says. First of all, look at that face. I mean, this looks like me in the mornings on many occasions. But this says, when you think you want to climb the walls or stand up right and shout, here's a little damn it doll you cannot do without. Just grasp it firmly by the legs and find a place to slam it. And when, as you whack it stuffing L out, yell, damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, I'll, well, I'll go pick that up, but I mean, you 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 hold it by the legs and you and you bang things with it and you yell. So the little damn it doll. 
I think it's neat. Right? Look at that face. Arr. I got. I don't know. I may keep. I may keep. I may need this. I may need this. So I keep that around for a little while. All right. And then I bought this and. It, this is one thing that I'd seen it and I put it in my cart and I thought, oh, right. and then I walked back around and I saw it again and I thought, mm, maybe I do. It was $1.99. This is plastic. It's not wood, but it's this little uh, metal tea set. It's made in Hong Kong and it's got a little Holly Hobby wannabe on there. She's holding her spoon. So all the graphics are the same. There are four plates, six, wait, well, there's four round plates, two square plates, and six little cups. I don't, I don't know. So, I, so this part is kind of broken right here that's holding these plates in, I think. Well, maybe not. I need to take all the tape off of it because they've taped the bejesus out of this thing. But I don't know. I know some people will use these little metal things to do assemblages with and crafts with. But for $1.99, I thought I'd just go ahead and try it. And because, you know, it's slim pickings at Goodwill. And I, I just bought that. Now, some of the things that I'm going to show you are things that I actually paid up for at Goodwill. So, because Goodwill started to price things a little bit spendier in my area. On some things, but th these, I got these, and I'm keeping these because they are five. Five little Santa, little Santa shot glasses or little Santa mugs. Look at them. They're made in Japan. They were 99 cents each. I'm going to keep them and add them to my Santa mug collection. So but there were... Five of them. And I was as happy as can be to find these because you don't, this is the kind of stuff that you used to be able to find at Goodwill. You can't anymore. They, 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 they do it all online. All right, and then I got this cute little restaurant wear bowl. This is going to be for sale tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm having my St. Patrick's Day sale. And this has this cute little green design all the way around it. So it is Shenango. It was 99 cents, just a cute little, little fruit bowl. So that will be available tomorrow during the St. Patrick's Day sale. I got these two. These are just a pack of bookmarks, probably from, yeah, they're from Walmart. How many are in here? 24, but I'm going to use them as package toppers. They're cute. They've got this fun little, fun little design on it. They've got panda bears and a dinosaur, and pizza, and a rainbow, and a unicorn, and a popsicle, and a cactus, and a star and a heart. So I'll use those as package choppers. They were 99 cents, which is probably how much they were at Walmart. Probably. Okay, and then I got these three. Now these three mugs, I'm going to, I'm going to save these for my Easter sale. My Easter sale is going to be Coming up probably right after my St. Patrick's Day sale. Honestly, probably that next Wednesday. I, and I have been, whoo, I've been, I've been like, like a little squirrel with my Easter things and just hiding them in my cheeks for the right time. I've got, Pinky is holding, Pinky is my cheeks. Yes, and Pinky is holding all of the Easter things right now. But I'm going to add these to that. These are made by Wedgwood. The mugs right now at Goodwill are 69 cents, at least in my area. And I did pick up three of these, and they are, they are all different. But this is Mrs. Tiggy Wiggy. This one's Mrs. Tiggy Wiggy, or Mrs. Tiggy Winkle. And it's got, on the inside, it's got a chicken. And then this one is also Wedgwood. And this one is Peter Rabbit. I mean, they're all Beatrice Potter, basically. And then this one is, I think, little Benjamin. Little Benjamin Bunny. Oh, aren't they cute? Look at. And on the inside of this one is Benjamin Bunny. And on the inside of this one is Peter Rabbit. And on the inside of this one is Mrs. Tiggy Winkle. So I got these three for 69 cents a piece, and they'll be available in my 
my Easter sale. And then I got these little plates. These little plates were 99 cents each. And I don't typically, I don't typically buy these, but I mean, it was slim pickings and I bought them. They were 99 cents each, as I just said. This one is a little souvenir plate of Florida. They're both made in Japan. Do you even have a flamingo on you? Yeah, you do. A flamingo and a marlin and the dog races and manatees and dolphins and skiers and a hibiscus. And then this one's California. Likes to party. This is Bradley exclusives of Japan. Now the Cal well, they both have their hangers on them. This one has Yosemite, Mission San Juan, uh, the state capital in Sacramento, Red, Ro Red Redwood Highway, the Rainbow Pier, Long Beach, Golden Gate Bridge, San Francisco cable car. And, and then I got this. Now this is, speaking of California, this is California pottery. And I'm probably going to keep her. I have one kind of like her and I love her. And I just about died when I saw another one on the Goodwill shelf. Cause I bought mine on eBay. And it's this little California pottery sock darner. And I love it cause it says, darn it. It's got, now I will get that. Luckily this is glazed and I can get that marker off that Goodwill put on there. But look at her little feet. See that? So she's a little bit different. She was $1.99. She's a little bit different than the one that I have, but she's gonna go on my shelf. I love her. Darn it. Oh, I don't sew. I don't even know how you use one of these things, but I just think that it's precious. And I love California pottery. I liked her. All right, these next three pieces I paid up for. I paid $9.99 each for the, these three pieces at Goodwill which is, I mean, I, that's not like me, but I mean, they're, they're cute. I believe that this is a glass ashtray or, well, I think it's an ashtray because it has the little divots here. It was $9.99, but it's pretty. It's kind of like, it's like a lavender and it has the, um, the yellows and greens and blues. Very, very pretty. Well, it was $9.99. And then I got these. Now, these the the one the piece that I just showed you, as well as these next two pieces, are only going to be available during a live sale. Um, I was really excited about this guy because I've sold a bigger one like him, and it's a little uh, art glass kid cat. It's black and white. It's in excellent condition. It's a lot smaller. I had sold a bigger one that I actually got at an antique mall. But I found this one at Goodwill. But it was it was $9.99. So, which is what you'd pay for them in, you know, I, I've seen them for this much in an antique store. So I got him, and they've written on marker on him too, but I'll get that off. But he's an excellent shape. And then this one is just so cute. It's a little... Well, I, I I thought it was a bear. At, well, first of all, I thought it was a cat. And then I thought it was a bear. And now I think it's a seal. Um, because, Well, okay. See, that looks like a bear. And he's like, you know, laid on his back. But he's got little flippers. So I believe that he's a seal or a sea lion. Or a beaver. I, What do you think? Leave me a comment. What do you think he is? You think he's a beaver? Sea lion? or seal. Now I don't want to get into the dis discussion of, okay, the difference between a sea lion and a seal, I think I do know. I mean, I think I could pick them out in a lineup, but are you a bee? No, you don't have a beaver tail. I don't know what he is, but he's cute and I've never seen such a thing. So he was also $9.99. So just those three pieces cost me $30. And I got them all, I got those three at the same time. I, I don't know if I got a whole lot else that day, but that's what I got at Goodwill in three trips. So it's not been the best shopping trips at Goodwill lately, but you know, I, I still, my, my favorite places to source are still a vendor mall 
and I love going to antique malls and I still find things every day that I, that I resell on live sales as well as eBay. It's not just the live sales that I'm selling things on. I am finding things that I'm also selling on eBay at antique malls too. So don't count them out. Just go in and check them out. See if someone's having a sale, which they should every once in a while have a sale. I'm just saying. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you saw anything that you might be interested in other than the art glass, you can send me an email, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com, and I'll let you know if it's still available. Don't forget that my live sale is tomorrow. It's every Wednesday at 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, and this week it is St. Patrick's Day, green and yellows, mainly green. So, uh, And then the week after that, I think I'm going to have my Easter sale. I think it's time. We're going to go straight from St. Patrick's Day to Easter because we, you know, I got to give you time to get it and decorate with it. But thank you so much for watching. Make sure that, see if you can let me know what the sky is. I, I, I'm, I want to know what the consensus is of what animal he is or she is. And let me know down in the comments. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys. Dun 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 d